the crawling, creeping larva, the worm, one day would fly with colors on its wings and go from one flower to another. I saw that monarch butterflies, their journey from Canada to some portion of Mexico during winter and then during summer they go back. Some die on the way, <laughs> but they go all the way back to Canada. And those butterflies, those monarch butterflies, unbelievably great in their own way, were at one time crawling, creeping worms. Likewise, you and I may sometimes shudder at the thought, who said God and we are one? Hold on, study, meditate, so hum, saha aham. At the right time, when there is that pakvata, spiritual maturity, it is no more a fancy, it becomes a personal insight. That bhavana is bhavani, is highly purifying. It is also called a bhida. See, bheda, bhida are synonyms. Bheda is division. Bhida also means the same. Abhida is without any division between God and us. And initially there is thought. Then there is no thought, no concept. Bhava shunya. And it is sadbhava sustiti. There is only staying as that pure existence principle. Not as man or woman, not as old or young, not as sick or healthy, not as wealthy or poor. All those are just concepts. None of us is poor, none of us is rich, none of us is old, none of us is young. The Vedantic insight says, take them all, bundle them up and throw into the trash. You are just such chit ananda. That is sadbhava sustiti. And because of long meditation, clarity of study and abidance, staying nishta in it, bhavana balat, there is the greatest height of devotion. Maharshi calls it devotion. The highest devotion is where you feel you are one with God. There is no division between God and you. This bhakti is uttama, the highest. And if tonight we come complete one more shloka, the next shloka says, it actually bhakti yoga is over in nine. The tenth shloka is actually something that throws light on the previous nine shlokas and the coming twenty shlokas. In Sanskrit literature there is an expression, dehali deepa nyaya. Nyaya means a maxim or a way of saying Dehali Deepa. Dehali is not Dilli or New Delhi. Dehali in Sanskrit, perhaps in some other languages too, is the threshold. You have a hut and there is a threshold. If you keep a lamp on the threshold, Dehali, Dehali is threshold. It throws light outside too and inside too. So such shlokas are called shlokas that convey a message going by Dehali Deepanyaya. That is, they throw light on what has been said so far and what will, what will be said in future. In nine shlokas, Karma Yoga and Bhakti Yoga were covered. What is going to be said now in the tenth ten sloka applies to them and in the Next shlokas 11 to 20 and even beyond all the way till 30, Raja Yoga and Dana Yoga will be covered. This message applies to them also. Ratstale mana swastata kriya. Bhakti Yoga Bodhaschanishchitam. Bhakti Yoga Ratstale mana swastata kriya. Bhakti Yoga Bodhaschanishchitam. The simple message here is, 
Look at the last word of the first half, Kriya. Kriya is a synonym of Karma. So Kriya stands for Karma Yoga. Next word is Bhakti, first word of the second line. Bhakti is Bhakti Yoga. Then the word is Yoga, that is Raja Yoga, Ashtanga Yoga. And last is Bodha, is Dana Yoga. Karma Yoga and Bhakti Yoga and Raja Yoga and Dana Yoga, the four celebrated disciplines of Sanatana Dharma are all about Manasvastata, this mind which has a notion of being limited, our, we are limited, we are helpless, we are going to die, we are going to suffer, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. This mind is all this. This manaha, extrovert mind, therefore carrying all kinds of insecurity, when thanks to these disciplines, one of them, two of them, three of them are a combination of all four of them, prepare your own special formula, this manaha, swastha, when it turns inward and stays firmly, swastha, stays in itself, swa is swayam, stays in itself. And Maharshi was fond of using the word hrita, heart, hrita means hridaya, for the pure self, the pure atma. You and I have a true nature, this egoistic life is out of, out of ignorance. When the mind which today has embraced an egoistic existence turns inward and stays firmly in the pure self which is limitless, which is beyond space and time, that is nishchitam. Nishchitam means un, undoubtedly or in the most decisive way we may say that is the one goal of all the spiritual paths. Where does Karma Yoga lead you finally to your separate mind abiding in the non-separate, all pervades you, all includes you, unitary experience? Where does Bhakti Yoga lead to the same Advaita Nishtha. Where is Raja Yoga supposed to, where is it supposed to take you to? To the same Brahma Nishtha. And Nana, of course, is all about Brahma Nishtha. That is called Hrtstale Manaswastata. Therefore, though just a few verses, this Upadesha Sara, we would repeatedly say, brings to us a very comprehensive non-contradictory, harmonious understanding of our religion, our philosophy, then no matter what we are doing, somebody may be doing some sadhana, his own wife is doing some other sadhana, the children are approaching a matter in just another way, one will be able to put everything in perspective, fine, fine, you know, all of them in their own way bring about an inner change. The ultimate goal is one. In this way, samarasya or it is sometimes called samanvaya. I means to go. Anvaya is to go one after another. And samanvaya means all go together. Samanvaya. There is a samanvaya. Hinduism seems to have so much of diversity and first somebody may get confused. You worship that elephant-faced god and he worships that monkey-faced god and she worships a lady-faced god. What is someone may think? But there is a samanvaya. These apparent differences and these apparent diversity all have an underlying unity and there is no conflict between the two, between the many. The many merge into one. That is the message. And rightly it has been placed in the middle like the Hali Deepanyaya. It throws light on the disciplines yet to be described. It throws light on disciplines of karma and bhakti that have been explained. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om